Hello everybody and welcome to Dev Tips. My name is Travis Nielsen and today we're not going to be learning any codes, but we're going to be talking about the things that we've been doing over the past three months. We have just completed the most ambitious project or series that we've ever done on DevTips and I'm so excited to tell you about it and kind of cover the things that we've been learning and that have happened in the past 25 videos, okay? So let's just get started. So let's talk about video statistics just a little bit. The first video was published on May 19, 2014. The last video was just last Monday on September 22nd. There are 25 distinct videos in the playlist and that averages out to be 1.3 videos produced per week. That's pretty good. There is a total of 10 hours and 38 minutes of content on this playlist, all free. The video's average length is about 25 and a half minutes. The longest video is 67 minutes, beating out the nearest competitor by 11 entire minutes. Altogether, these videos have had over 110,000 views. For dev tips, that's a big deal. Now that's about 4.5 thousand each video. The most viewed video was, not surprisingly, the first video with 17,000 views. Now, this is a graph of the video's views, and you can see that it falls off pretty fast, but we do keep strong here, about 2,000 views per video to the end. I consider these views right here to be very special. It's actually really impressive to make it through 10 hours of content. Now, there have been 4.3 thousand engagements with the videos in this series. Now that means comments, likes, playlist ads, and shares. Now that means about 4% of you guys who watched it engaged with it. And that's actually pretty good. Now I feel like I get to know you guys really well in the, in the comment section down below. You each have distinct personalities and we have pretty in-depth conversations. But it blows my mind that that only represents 4% of you guys watching these videos. There has been 150 tweets about the video series and about 20 Facebook shares. So when DevTips first started this series, we had about 1,800 subscribers to the whole channel. And now that we're ending this series, we're rounding the corner to be 9,000 pretty soon. Now that's a 5x multiplier over the span of just this series. So that's pretty cool. I, I don't know. I just think it's cool. Okay, so let's talk about the code itself. The code itself for the project is hosted and version controlled at github.com. You can download it for free, there's no cost, and you don't even have to use attribution or anything. You can download it and manipulate it as much as you like, use it professionally, publicly, claim it as your own, it doesn't matter. I've seen a few variations of it already in the wild and it's really fun to see, I like it. So please, use it however you like. GitHub tells me that it has 89 watchers, 100 stars, and 86 forks. That means 86 people have grabbed it and created different variations of it already. That's pretty exciting to me. We've had 19 separate people unsolicited uh, write and, and submit uh, contributions in code and they have made the, 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 the code uh, and project way more awesome than I did originally and they've done that through 57 separate pull requests. There are actually some really cool ones still that I haven't yet made videos about, so stay tuned for those upcoming soon. There have been 143 code commits overall. Now that's averaging 10.2 for every week that we've been coding. The most heavily committed week was June 22nd with 15 code commits. I hope this stuff is interesting to you guys, it, it really is to me. The contributor of the most code was Z Design, and that's Dylan, remember him from episode 15? I'm really impressed with the level of enthusiasm you guys have displayed with your contributions and your support. It's really mind-blowing to see how awesome you guys all are with this thing. I have learned a lot from you guys during this series, and I've actually incorporated a lot of what I've been learning here into my professional work, and that is a tradition that I would like to see develop and mature here on DevTips, that I'm, I'm not the only one talking, that we're all learning together. It's, it's really cool and inspiring, and it makes me really motivated to do more of this stuff. I made a quick list of all the services that we use. Maybe there's more of them, but this is what I've been thinking about. Number one, GitHub. We've been using GitHub. We use forms.brace.io to send our, our forms. We used fit text to control the, uh, you know, the responsiveness of our, of our larger text, our headers. We used Ico Moon to create our own uh, icon fonts, which is really fun. We used Behance to find those work samples. And again, thank you to everybody who agreed to uh, use their work. The credits to those work pieces can be found on the README in every download of the artist theme. 
Uh, we used the font Awesome pretty heavily, and we also used Gratisography, which is a website for free uh, photography. That's where we got the header, the really beautiful image. That was from gratisography.com. So we used a lot of services throughout the, um, we also used Trello again for product organization, but we used a lot of these things uh, throughout the whole series, and I think it was really informative to see not only just kind of like uh, how to build things with code, but like where do you, you know, what are these resources that you commonly use in a professional workflow? So that was a lot of fun. Also, I want to talk a little bit about the skills that we specifically used through, uh, through this project. So some of them, I made, a, I made a quick list of them. In the beginning, we talked a lot about the discovery process. So we, so we talked about discovery, we talked about empathy, we talked about uh, planning, we talked about organization of projects, specifically through Trello. We talked about sketching, wireframing, we did visual design in Photoshop. There's a lot of these skills that, are, that you could use professionally and get paid a lot of money to do. We went, covered all of these, you know, covered all of these things actually quite in the, in the early videos. And then we moved on to more technical aspects when we talked about using Jekyll, about SAS architecture and uh, coding, using Bourbon to uh, accentuate our SAS. We talked about liquid templating within Jekyll. HTML and CSS hot topics like Flexbox, SVG. We talked about icon fonts and responsive design using uh, media queries. We talked a lot about GitHub, so we covered commits, uh, pull requests, code reviews, merges, branches. We talked about hosting with GitHub pages. All of that and more. And in fact, uh, all of these videos that we've been talking about, also they are, all have you know the comments section, which if you guys are only watching videos and not reading the comments, you're missing out about half the value of all these videos. Again, I've said that before, but it's true. It's true. Read the comments. You guys are having incredible conversations. Great questions are being asked. People are answering questions. It, it's, it's really great. This series has been jam-packed with value, and I hope you've been benefiting from all the work that's been put into it. In the comments some of you guys have been leaving, I can tell that you've definitely caught the vision of what we've been doing here, and I thank you for that. Okay, everybody, that's it for this little review of the series that I wanted to go through. I hope you thought this was interesting and exciting for what's to come. Uh, next week, I'm going to see you back here on Monday morning at 8 a.m., and if you have not yet, please subscribe to the channel. Please like this video and share it on Twitter and on Facebook because that's how more people will get to learn about the cool things that we are doing together here on DevTips. And the more, probably the merrier, I don't know. I think that things have gotten a little bit more awesome as more of you have joined. So I can only imagine that if that kind of just keeps going, we'll just keep going more awesome. So I guess that's a plea to share it on your social networks. I don't know. Keep awesome, everybody, and keep on hacking. We'll see you Monday. This is my dance. I'm just dancing.